good afternoon. Today, we're headed somewhere that we've never been before. Well, at least we've never stayed there before. Right, yeah. We're staying at a resort on Disney property called Shades of Green. And what Shades of Green is, is it is an Armed Forces Recreation Center resort. And so what that means is that it is a resort that is owned by the United States Department of Defense and operated by the U.S. Army. So the interesting thing about Shades of Green is that there is an eligibility requirement to stay there. So some of the people that are eligible are active duty, reserve, National Guard, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, Space Force, Coast Guard, and cadets of Armed Forces Academies. Also, people like retired military and people from NOAA, just to name a few. The list is very extensive. And if you're interested in finding out more about eligibility, we'll put a link down below so you guys can read the full list. Another thing about Shades of Green is that anybody that is eligible can also sponsor up to three rooms. And then if they have an eligible spouse, that spouse can also sponsor up to three rooms. So one group could have six sponsored rooms as well as their own totaling seven rooms. Something else that I thought was interesting about Shades of Green is that the room rates are on a scale based on your rank within the armed forces. So people with a lower rank will pay less than somebody with a higher rank. Until you get into the suites then everybody pays the same. Also sponsored rooms pay the highest rate in that room class. So we were able to stay because we have a friend who is retired military and he was coming down to visit and he said, hey, I'm gonna be staying at Shades of Green. And he's like, I'd love for you guys to stay. So we stayed on his sponsorship and it was awesome. We got to check out the resort. We got to eat a lot of really good food. We got to hang out with him and catch up. It was a really great stay, so. And we got to see a lot of wildlife. It was the, one of the most like, magically Disney things that's ever happened. I don't think I've ever seen more wildlife at another resort. Yeah, I'm like pretty much a turkey princess at this point. <laughs> yeah. So basically what it means for somebody to sponsor you to stay at Shades of Green, somebody who is eligible to stay, which is that big long list that we were just talking about. So any of those people that are eligible, they basically are just vouching for the people staying in those sponsored rooms. So they're saying, my guests who are staying in the sponsored rooms will follow all of the rules that I follow as an eligible person staying at the resort. And that's, yeah, that's kind of like the generalized gist of it. So now that we've made it to the resort, let's go check out our room. All right, we are staying in room 168 in the Palm side of the resort. Let's head inside and have a look around. So I wanted to give you guys kind of a quick overview of the room before we show off the different areas of it. And we did also want to mention that we have <laughs> stayed in this room one night already. We did. Oh, buddy, you got stuff all over your face. We're eating pears and blueberries. Ooh, pears and blueberries. It's nice to have this table, though. I will say that really quick. This table is great. Yeah. It's really nice to have an actual table in the room and not just like a table that you pull up to a chair or up to a couch, you know? So I wanted to give you guys a big overview of the room first before we even start on getting down to the nitty gritty of what all is, what all is offered inside of this room. Well, there's a lot of space. They use the space really well. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll start in the back here. The biggest thing is we have a patio. We are on the first floor. There is a walkout patio out here and we're overlooking the golf course and just steps away from the pool over there. The patios are not divided. Right. So when you look out, you can see everybody. Yeah, you can see the next door neighbors right there. That At least be... on the first floor. We don't know about the other floors. Yeah, the other floors are divided. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But that makes these... sense. These are not, just so that people know, so you know what kind of patio you're getting when you book your room. Mm -hmm. So this is a double queen room, two queen beds in here, and this is a fold down couch. I wouldn't call it a pull out couch because it is just a twin size bed here. And I'll give you, I'll, I'll show you guys how it folds out. And there is a little photo here that shows you how to do it, but there's a lever down here that you have to push down on and then you pull the handle and then the mattress is there. There it is. A nice twin size bed. There's a light right here that hits me right in the head. It's perfect, <laughs> perfect height for my head. Oliver's like, what just happened? Uh, and like we were saying earlier, there is a table in the center here. Only two chairs though. But you could pull these two in from outside if you needed to. Oh yeah. And for that bed, we do have the inflatable bed rail up. Oh, right. That's why it looks kind of funny. A little bump there. But also, that bed is pretty comfortable. Yeah? I laid in it with the baby, and I was like, it's not bad. I can mm. sleep in that bed. Okay. Yeah. You know what bed I could sleep in? What? This one right here, because I did last <laughs> night. So, because there are four of us in the room, we did kind of split up. I slept with Jackson in this bed last night, and Jen slept over here because she was getting up to deal with the baby. Yeah. So... One thing, you guys know I love it. You guys know what I love when I come to hotel rooms. 
and there is no shortage of USBs in this room. So not only do we have on the alarm clock a USB and a USB-C right here, there's also plugs on either side of the lamp, plugs on top of the alarm clock, plugs on the side of the nightstand, three plugs as well as two USBs on this side, three plugs over here as well as two USBs on this side. I didn't see those. I know, right? So Tim fell asleep last night, like as soon as we put Jackson down to bed, Tim fell asleep and I didn't know where to plug in my phone. And I was very, I was like, oh, there's some on the alarm clock, great. But I didn't look on the side. Yeah. Oh, well, that's fun. You wanna know where there's more USBs? Where? Over here underneath the TV. Oh. Right behind the coffee maker. Uh, I used my plug, but there's also four USBs right there, as well as two plugs up top. This is a coffee maker that comes with the room and this is a either single cup or dual cup coffee maker. They do provide coffee for you as well as cream and sugar. Three drawers here for you to use as storage. There is a mini fridge in here, and at the Disney Resorts, these are called beverage coolers, but I believe this one is a full refrigerator because there's a little freezer section up top right there. We've got our freezer bricks in there, and they are still frozen. And we got two string cheeses in here, fully using the capacity of this refrigerator. Uh, another thing that's interesting about this room is this two two string cheeses. If we don't use the string cheese as a form of measurement from now on, oh, every yeah. time we go to a hotel, how many string cheeses can you fit in this beverage cooler? Uh, the other thing that's really interesting about this room what? is, so, you know, the, if you took the rest of this room, this would be a normal size hotel room with two queen size beds in it. And then you add this section on here where the table is and the couch that's behind me. But also, look at this. You know you're in an, in an older Florida hotel room when you got a ceiling fan in here. It's nice to have though. Yeah, it is. Like to have the air movement, especially with the baby. That's that's like very nice. Right? It feels great. Ooh, look at it, listen to it. Man, oh man. Look at his hair. He's like, what is happening here? <laughs> Your hair's blowing in the wind, bud. Also, I do have to give a shout out to this art here. I feel like this is like things you would find in Florida. Like this is a palm tree, another palm tree, another palm tree. Uh, I think that's a magnolia and then just some wood. Something that I didn't look for yet and I'm wondering if you did was so we're on Disney property, but this hotel is technically like not owned by Disney. Right. It's owned by the U.S. military, right? Right. So do you get resort TV? Uh -oh, I think somebody's pooping. <laughs> do you get the resort TV on the TV? Let me check the channel guide really yeah. quick. So there is something on the television guide here that says attractions, information and attractions. Let's turn it on and have a look. We do get both Nickelodeon and Disney, yeah, which is uncommon for... Uh, Disney hotels. Jackson was excited that he could watch SpongeBob yesterday. So. All right. All right. Let's see. It says Channel Four. Okay. I don't know if this is specifically the resort TV, but it is giving information about Disney. Gives the bus information. Oh, that's cool. But these are not Disney buses. They're shades of green buses. Shades of green buses. Let's see what else here. With five. Oh, gives you information about Volcano Bay. Uh oh. The competitors. <laughs> and then uh, information about Starbucks here. Oh, they have a Starbucks in the hotel? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, Charlie Jordan unplugged. He is a chameleon, storyteller chameleon performer. Oh, they have fall drinks. Oh. oh. We did see a guy with a guitar playing a guitar down by the lake. Yeah. I wonder if that was him. Maybe. You never know. <laughs> we should ask him. Yeah. He's probably still out there. Um. Also, we did sleep in these beds last night, like we said. Very comfortable. I liked it. I will say that the pillows are a little bit too squishy for me, but I still had a great night's sleep. Now, I do say to you, you gotta check them, because there was two different styles of pillow. So there's this kind, very squishy, and then there's this one that was a little bit harder. Oh, okay. But it's flatter, like it's not as thick. I think I had the only, I just used the squishy one. Okay, there you go. Check them out, two different styles of pillow. And then we head in this direction. You can get an adjoining room if you'd like to. Uh, a little bench here that you can store your, your shoes under, maybe your luggage under, sit on there, put your shoes on. A closet, and inside the closet is all of our luggage and all of our stuff, plus an ironing board. There's an iron up here. This is where we the extra bedding was for the pull-down couch. And there's a safe down here as well. Oh, and then there are hangers and the such, and then they do offer laundry services as well. And now let's head into full-size mirror for you to check your Disney fit. This 
thermostat has been giving me a little bit of trouble. Like you can see right now it's set to 68, but it's 74 degrees in here right now. So I don't know what's going on with that. So yeah, all in all, we can't really figure out the air conditioner. It is cool in here, but it's 75 degrees, but we got it set to, we'll set it to 66. It does turn off and on. I don't know. Uh, let's check out the bathroom now. Bathroom is very spacious. You got double sink, lots of space on top of the countertop for you to use to like set up your toiletries and things like that. Lots of space underneath the sink too. Big mirror, well lit, like great lighting for you to do your makeup or check your outfit or do your hair or anything like that. And then we head around here to where the toilet and the shower room are. So the toilet is a brown toilet, not an elongated toilet. It's not as big as some of the other toilets, like an elongated toilet seat would be. And I understand why, because the door is very close to it and the door does open up into the toilet paper. So you do have to close the, to close the door to sit down on the toilet. The tub, it's a little bit shallow, that's okay. It worked great for Jackson last night. Well, I haven't taken a shower in it yet. We'll take one in it today, we'll see how it is. Um, lots of towels. And then they also do offer an anti-slip mat for inside of the tub. Oh, but behind this, I thought this was interesting. Yeah, there's like a little like vent fan. Yeah. So it's definitely not like a normal Disney resort. It doesn't, right. it feels older than the other resorts. Even the older Disney resorts have been refreshed to feel newer. So that's something that just you may or may not like. Something else I do want to point out, and I don't know if that's just a, a feature of this room. I'm sure they do offer like accessible rooms, but oh, yeah. the switches are very high on the wall here. You can see Jen's standing it's at her shoulder height. <laughs> yeah. So like- They're like five feet off the ground. Right? And also, all of them, it's all of the switches. It's not oh, just the ones in the bathroom here. Like look, here's the one in the bath, in the- Oh, I didn't notice over that. Over here, it's up there. Oh yeah. And then the one as soon as you walk in the room is way up there. Huh. Yeah. I mean, Jackson can't reach these, so that's good for like, if you have kids and you don't want them to like mess with the lights. Right. But the other thing that I thought was not disappointing, but I just, I didn't think about it. They don't have H2O products. Oh yeah. So you don't get your- They have essential elements bath. Yeah. So I would definitely suggest bringing your own like shampoo and conditioner because they only offer conditioning shampoo. Mm -hmm. So it's just a two in one and then they offer body wash. Right, and they do not offer bar soap either. So if you are a person like me that uses bar soap, bring your own bar soap. We did also want to mention that you can request a crib <laughs> for this room. Uh, we just didn't do that this time. <laughs> so they do offer like some of the same amenities that the Disney resorts offer, which is really nice. Yeah. And, and I keep seeing everybody drive by in their golf carts because we are right next to the Magnolia Golf Course. I think we're next to the Palm on this side. Oh, okay. So it's both the Palm and the Magnolia golf course in this area. And the actual Shades of Green Resort is split into two different towers. There's the Magnolia Tower mm -hmm. and the Palm Tower. And we're in the Palm Tower. So that to me says we're closer to the Palm Golf Course. But we also are next to a dog walk because this is a, a dog friendly resort. Yeah. I've seen some people have their dogs and a lot of them were um, like their service animals. Yeah. So, but that's cool. I, I can't wait to see if we see any like pups over there being walked. But I saw right, somebody right playing like frisbee with their dog out there. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh, cool. it was cool. So one thing to look out for while you're here at Shades of Green is there are deer everywhere oh. and there are turkey everywhere. Did you show them? I can't remember if we filmed it. When we were driving in last night, we saw it was like seven deer. Yeah. It was like a whole family of deer and then one by itself. I didn't film it because it was too dark, uh, but. It was so cool. Hopefully tonight we'll see some. They were just hanging out. Yeah, just, just like, like on the pathway into the resort. There's so much wildlife here. All right, it's lunchtime. We're headed down to see what we can find at the quick serve. It's called the Express Cafe. It sounded pretty good. It said that it had, everything was made to order. That's nice. And they had like sandwiches, pastries, juices, you know, just like a regular quick serve. So let's, let's see what kind of sandwiches do they have? As we are walking over to the Express Cafe, I did want to point out, there's a lot of wildlife here. We talked about this a little bit earlier in the video, but there's turkey, deer. Also, we saw an alligator in this little pond earlier. It was just a little one though. Just a little guy. Yeah. And like when we first walked up to the hotel, I kind of got like, sort of like, um, because of the stone and the wood and the green, I got like Grand Californian vibes a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. I mean, it's not, it's, they're, they're not like each other very much, but just, I got the vibes. Yeah. Just wanted to give you an overview of the resort here while we're sitting next to the map. Like we said, we are really close to the golf courses. 
Oh, there's two pools. Yeah. But it looks like only one pool has a slide. So, and this is a splash pad over here. This is called the Mill Pond Pool. Um, I don't, let's see what this one is. 16 is the Magnolia Pool and Hot Tub. I think this is the splash pad and, oh, this, and this is, is the playground. playground. Okay. We'll have to check that out later when Jackson gets off school. Yeah. Oh, they have tennis courts. Ooh. Very nice. You're here. There's a very nice gazebo out here. I feel like this would be a very picturesque wedding location with the, the golf course and the pond in the background. It would be nice. It is a very nice looking hotel, a resort. So we are walking through the courtyard area. Uh-oh, you're good, you're, you got lost. We're walking through the courtyard area and it has started raining, but I did want to mention that you can get to the rest of the resort through various indoor locations. Like you can get all the way across the resort by going indoors, even though we are outdoors right now. So we're walking in through this door and it says restaurants are this way. It smells like coffee in here. Oh, it smells so good. And this is Man Mangino's. We're gonna try to eat here tonight. It's like a steak and Italian restaurant. Let's see how it goes. What's over here? This is the garden gallery. And this is kind of like a, what did, we, what did it say it was? It was like a buffet? They, they do a breakfast buffet, but then they do pizza for dinner, a build your own noodle soup bowl, and a build your own fried rice bowl. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. We were also just passing by the gym, so I decided to stop in and have a look around. Pretty good stuff. Like towels, the remotes so you can change the TV, treadmills, ellipticals, bikes, free weights, machines. Oh. It like even has a screen on it so you can like select a muscle group. Ooh, yeah, I'll do a shoulder press. And then it teaches you how to do it with this machine. It's kind of neat. When we were walking to our room last night, we also passed a yoga studio. Oh. So that's, I don't know, I don't know anything else about it. I just saw the yoga studio sign, but that's cool. And they also have water fountains and a water bottle, water bottle, water bottle filler here. So we came up to the second level on a mission to try to find the Express Cafe. There's where we were walking through out there. It's raining pretty heavy now. Oh, foot golf, so we, right there. We did that one time and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we'll put a link to that video <laughs> down below the like button. Oh, here's the lobby. This is nice. Oh, there's a Mickey. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, see they do have weddings at Shades of Green over here too. Oh, the Express Cafe is downstairs right here outside. How do we get to it with the stroller though? The lobby does have some nice chairs and tables off of the outside of it. And then this is the, uh, I don't know what they call this. This is the, it's called Java. This is where they have the Starbucks coffee, but also they have Dole up here. Oh yeah. Ice cream. Got a few little grab and go type things here. A cookie. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get me a cookie right now. They do have a good selection of ice cream as well as Italian ice. They got blue Italian ice up there, right next to it, chocolate chip cookie dough. Ooh, might have to get some of that later. And then you can also do a brownie sundae. You can build your own, they love to build their own things here. You can build your own brownie sundae. I would do mint Oreo ice cream topped with Oreos on okay. the brownie. That sounds so good. All right. And then this is a Starbucks location. So you can get all of the different Starbucks drinks that you're used to. Even the brand new gingerbread chai latte. Oh yeah. Or oat milk. So we're gonna find the elevator down here. Oh, some memorabilia from the Invictus games over here. And then we did also find out that the Express Cafe closed at one and it's now 1.12. But I don't think it said that on the, maybe the, maybe the time have changed. Right. Yeah. So we are headed towards Evergreens, which is kind of like a sports bar type restaurant. We're passing by the exchange, which would be uh, tax free. You can get all kinds of souvenirs and Anything you might need for your vacation here, tax-free. And then you can buy attraction tickets in here, tax-free as well. This is also where the ATM is, down here. Now we're heading into the other wing, and like I said, we can make it through here without being oh, in the rain. it's covered, yeah, yeah, this is nice. Oh. When he told us to go outside, I was nervous. Right? <laughs> There's the, the other pool over here. This is one that they said it was the Magnolia Pool and, and Hot Tub. So this, this one is, is a zero-entry pool, too. Yeah, that's nice. Let me get a good view of it here. Oh, and they have like pool volleyball set up in there. That seems like a lot of fun. Here it is. This is the yoga studio that we found that we're walking by. Well, I don't know if it's like... It's, I think that's a one-way mirror. Two-way mirror. <laughs> yeah, you can't see in, but they can see you. There was just a guy standing on the other side. Like, He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is what he saw. Turn around. 
Oh no. <laughs> All right, so the only place that we can not get to without getting wet is Evergreens, the place that we're going to. So we're gonna head out there. I did wanna point this out though. This is the mill pond pool with the splash pad over here too. And there's a big slide. And then there's also a playground back there. Look at the size of the slide on that playground. Oh, the, the splash pad is so fun. Yeah. You didn't even you didn't even react. Look oh, at the size of the slide on oh, that playground. It's huge. That is. So it's I like told three Jackson, stories tall. Well, I told him after school we could get in the pool um, and go like play and stuff. So hopefully the pool's still open and we can do that. Yeah. But I think it's open now. There's kids in it. Yeah. It's just it's raining. It's not lightning. It's pretty nice though. It's a cool slide. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh, and they're playing cake. Oh, I remember this place. I came and I did a tour of this place before and there's like an arcade and like pool bar, like pool tables inside of this restaurant. The arcade is open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. And this is where we're headed to. This is the sports bar. Oh, they have drink specials, the guava margarita. Here's a quick look at the menu. I have a little bit of a glare on it, but I'll get a burger. Why not? Let's have a try. So as I was looking around the restaurant, they have like decorations. Of course, they have like sports on every channel or on any TV, but also they have like posters here. And this is like a full brewing system. But I got really confused because at first, the first one that I saw over here was this. And that's a picture of the inside of a keg. But I thought it was Skyliner. I thought it was like the Skyliner. It's not. This is not the Skyliner. I kind of wish it was though. It'd be pretty cool. Is this how the inside of a keg looks? It's just a beer keg. I didn't know there was so much involved in a beer keg. Makes sense though. I like it. I like the feel of it in here. It's kind of like dark and dreary what? for a rainy day. What? Yeah, this is a sports bar, right? That's what you want in a sports bar. I don't think that's a good description of this oh, it's, place. It's, 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 uh, it's very wood it's, paneling. I feel like it's like moody. It's like kind of like a man cave. Yeah, that's you know? what I mean. No, okay. man caves are dark and dreary. That's no, what people they're, like. They're moody. Oh, okay. They're yeah, moody. Yeah. The mood is dark and dreary. No. <laughs> it's full of rough hewn cedar. Because there's nobody really eating here right now, we decided to come out here to the patio, they call it. I would call this a Florida room because it's windows, not screen. And that way we could sit at this table and have a little bit more light, a little bit more natural light. All right, the first thing from our order came out. <laughs> the baby's like, I'll be having some of these. Oh, we just got real loud. Party in here. Oh, are you opening it? I wasn't ready. Oh, yeah, look at that. Cheese pretty, curds. Pretty curdy. They're like super fresh, super crispy. Ooh, I like that. So everything is made to order. It feels just like a, a regular sports bar, like not a Disney restaurant. Yeah. Which I kind of like. Oh, marinara is a little watery. Oh, yeah. That's okay, though. They use it for pizza. That makes sense. Give you a thumbs up? Two Ooh, thumbs. Two thumbs. Pretty good. I'll be the judge of that. I got a big one. There's the rest of our food. Awesome. Ooh. That's so good. Oh yeah. I had to go with a burger because you guys know me. I love burgers and I wanted to just pit this up against the rest. I added bacon and cheese. So the cheese was 75 cents extra and the bacon was a dollar extra. And then it came with lettuce, tomato, and onion on a bahala bun, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. And then of course I will be adding some mayonnaise to it because I love mayonnaise. <laughs> That's just the way that it is. That's how I get my energy. <laughs> Jen got the... Um, the Philly cheesesteak, peppers, onions, and mushrooms on it, of course. <laughs> Sorry, I looked down. It was like a thing on the table here that we put for him, like a little play activity type thing. And he was just chewing on it. I was like, well, oh. I wish the high chairs were like a little bit taller. All right, these are, these tables are a little bit tall out here. <laughs> They're not as tall as those over there. No, they are yeah. a little bit tall. <laughs> these darn cheese curds are so tasty. <laughs> They're not like normal cheese curds where like you, no, they like cool. squeak. No, they're not like, the, you know how cheese curds, you're supposed to judge them by how they squeak in your mouth. These don't squeak, but they... Did yours? Yeah. Oh, Jen's just squeaked. She had a squeaky, squeaky cheese curd, but the flavor is there. Like the flavor, spot on. The breading, fried perfectly. It's lovely. And we're all done with lunch. It was delicious. They also have Connect Four out here by the pool. Looks like Jenga, chess, and checkers. And then this is the playground. It's a very nice looking playground. Two different kinds of slides, musical things, like roots and things, so like a tree stump to climb up. Three slides, there's a third slide. I'm looking for, so I would <clears> like <throat> to put a playground in the backyard for the you kids. You wanna put this one? Well, I mean, obviously that's probably out of our price range. <laughs> <laughs> but I want something, I'm trying to get inspiration from okay. these cool playgrounds. I think the ones that we get for the house are just like, Normal. No, I, I went to some websites that have similar things, what? like on a smaller scale, yeah. Oh my goodness. 
But Jack Jackson will love this because he wanted to play checkers again. Yeah, look at that slide. It's cool looking. I bet you it's fun to go down. And there's like a pretty big slide at the splash pad too. Oh, and from what I'm seeing, it looks like towels are provided because there's a pool towel drop off. Yeah, there's the pool towel pickup right there. And you just drop them off when you're done. They do also have life vests provided here. There's also a spa here at this resort. And what? $140 for a 50 minute massage, a 50 minute facial, a 20 minute foot treatment, and a citrus hand paraben. That is a good deal. At any other resort, that would be like $400. Our room view is very nice because we have the golf course, but look at this. This is very nice too. You can see also the size of the balconies and how they are separated up on the second floor up there. There's like a little creek running through. So this is called the Mill Pond Pool, and you can tell there's the mill right there. The turkeys, they run this place interesting sign because we are on a golf course no golf spikes beyond this point better take them off all right so we are making our way towards the exchange which is like the gift shop area we'll see what they have in there if there's anything interesting we'll show you they have a winter wonderland cookie decorating gingerbread house decorating roar into the forbidden forest <laughs> you know the fun stuff we're heading into the exchange this is interesting because you can get like some things that like are you know, like normal Disney stuff, stuff and then, you know, other. They're not real Disney ears, like actual. Are they though? It says Disney on it. Yeah, but they're, they have a different tag. How much are they? Let's see. 10 bucks. They're not real. $10. They're not real Disney ears. What? Oh, look, they have like United States Air Force, Disney, Orlando, Florida shirts. Oh, and they have the different branches. There's Navy right there. That's really cool. Oh, they have shades of green shirts. That's cool, and it's a golf shirt too, because we are on a golf course. Oh, and they have like an Under Armour tank top with shades of green on it. This is fun and exciting. Air Force sweatshirts. They do have ponchos. This is the Rain Center. It says quality umbrellas and ponchos. I'm not seeing any umbrellas though, but I am seeing lots of ponchos. Oh, waters and beers and wines and oh, so M&Ms. Like their sundry store and their gift shop. Yeah. Okay. We like to call these toothpick holders over here. <laughs> oh, they have a really big variety of stuff too. What's this? If your stroller breaks or if you forget it, they have one here that you can buy for available for purchase for $35. You can get Jim Shore uh, snow globes, but just be aware that if you are putting this in your carry-on, they will make you throw it out. So always pack that as best as you can in your checked luggage. Okay. Here's the thing that's interesting about this particular resort is that all of their like you can get full out 12 packs you can't get these at the other like resorts and all of their liquor is not behind the counter like at the disney resorts the liquor is behind the counter here this is like a liquor just store. on the shelf yeah and you can get like large bottles what what we didn't show you is when i almost knocked over this uh, entire thing 12. of bottles of yes, wine 12 bottles of red wine i almost oh, knocked every single buddy. one of those over and they have everything here you can get toenail clippers you can get travel bottles, you can get razors, band-aids, shaving cream, uh, tampons and the such, dish soap and laundry detergent, baby oil. Here's the question. When we were at a different resort, we were looking for wipes and we could just get a small thing of wipes. I'm not even seeing any wipes here. Do you see any wipes? You have the, like the smaller bottles of liquor too. You can get like a a little tiny jar of moonshine. All right, there's gonna be a little bit of a time jump here because we have to go pick up Jackson from school, and then we'll be back. I got some stuff from the exchange, mostly candy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, something of note for you guys that are thinking about staying here. We just had to call maintenance down because our AC wasn't working all day and I couldn't figure out why. So I called up maintenance and they came in and they said, have you gone outside? Did you open up the door recently? And I said, I went out there this morning, but then I closed it back up. And he said, ah, let me go check something. And he came over here by the door by the sliding glass door and he came over by the sliding glass door and he looked down there and if you look there's a little sensor down there and you see how part of it is missing that's what he was looking for so there is a sensor on the sliding glass door that connects back to the air conditioner that if the sliding glass door is open the AC will turn off so just be aware of that and there's a sign on the AC that says please make sure your doors all your doors are closed for your AC to work properly and so I was thinking I was like there has to be a sensor somewhere but I looked everywhere and I didn't see it I didn't look down at the ground and that's where it was. So uh, I opened the door before the, the cleaners came in to reset the room and I think it fell off at that point and they probably just like picked it up and cleaned it off somewhere. But he did say he was gonna come and replace it. He did put it on bypass for us. Our air conditioner is running now. So we'll see what happens. I did also wanna mention there is a bus system that can get you to all four Disney parks and the water parks and Disney Springs, but you do need a 
guest ID card, as well as a government-issued ID for everyone over the age of 18. So, just be prepared for that. You can take the bus, but you need all this stuff. And also, there is a parking fee, a self-parking fee of $17 per day. And valet is $22 a day. All right, now we're headed off to dinner. Are you ready? I am ready. Yeah, we're gonna I'm go ready to too. You're ready, ready too? too? We're gonna go to a place called Mangino's. We didn't bring any dressy clothes. So the Italian restaurant, steak <laughs> restaurant on property. So I hope leggings are okay. let's do it. Oh, it's a pretty magical resort because there's just like turkey and deer everywhere. Look at this. They're hanging out. Do you see those deer, Jackson? These are wild deer. Oh, it is a little bit rainy, but if we had stayed inside, then we wouldn't have been able to see the deer. Right? Here we go. Mangino's. Oh, yeah, I want to get this 32 ounce porterhouse. There's a nightly special of the ribeye. Look at this with some shrimp on top of it. Oh, my. But they also have a 32 ounce porterhouse. Oh, buddy, it's $85. Huh. Wow. Serves two. Both you and me could have it. I don't want it. Okay, you don't have to have it. Look, buddy, there's a nightly special of pasta on the wheel of cheese. They like put pasta inside of a wheel of cheese, I think. This oh my goodness, good. I already know one. which dessert I want. The peanut butter mousse. The peanut butter mousse. That sounds very good. There's a chocolate tart. I'm back. Which one? That peanut butter mousse? Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. Ooh. Key lime pie, though, that sounds good, too. All right, here we are. We're headed into the restaurant. There's hardly anybody in here tonight. Looks nice, though. Ooh, they put us in the fireplace room, buddy. Look at this. Wow. Gotta be warm over here. It's gonna be warm over here, for sure. Here's a look at the menu really quick. Got appetizers. We got salads. We got soup. And then we've got the, the specials, the porterhouse. Oh, sous vide, too. And they have the cheese wheel pasta where they put pasta in a giant wheel of cheese and make fettuccine alfredo right in front of you. Chicken parmesan, spaghetti bolognese, steaks. I'm gonna get this filet with hollandaise. Sounds really good. And they have some seafood down here. Just a pound of steamed crab legs. And they have some vegetarian options. A couple of chicken options too. And then they have uh, cocktails and wines and bourbon and a really loud violin track and then some dessert cocktails even Ooh, a chocotini all right first thing that we got was an appetizer and this is the caprese salad beautiful tomatoes and some mozzarella with some balsamic on it okay so we just finished the salad it was big enough to split it was very delicious i i was looking to for the salt on the table because i like to add salt to mine but it was seasoned perfectly it had the right amount of salt and it was very good. I like it when the tomatoes are the same size as the cheese, so you can eat them together like, you know what I mean? So yeah. you, can, you have like the perfect bite every time. And it was only $9. You for, know what else for was Disney? $9? What? Jackson's entire dinner. He I got know. three oh. chicken thing fingers. And a fruit salad. And a fruit salad. So the prices here are, even, even the prices of like the steaks, and they had like a really big steak for two. That one was only eighty dollars. Um, even the the fillet was only thirty dollars, I think. When you say only eighty dollars, it also came with a salad. Oh, to every, so and it was a steak for two. It came with two salads or two soups, and then it came with um, dessert to share, and then it also came with the sides for the steak. So it was such Actually, a good. Actually, I want the chocolate. Yes, Jackson wants the chocolate. <laughs> but I can't believe the prices here. And I even want the candy. Oh, I think this might be our food. I got the filet with sweet potatoes and walnuts. And then this came with seasonal vegetables of zucchini and squash. They also brought out some bread for us too. And then Jen got the mashed, same thing, but with mashed potatoes. It looks very yes. good. Thank you very much. And then our friend yeah, got the New York strip. Ooh, that looks really good. Yeah, it does. With the garlic mashed potatoes. Here's what we got for dessert. This is the peanut butter mousse. Let's cut it in half and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, so tender. It's like a, like a beautiful steak. Is that, the, is that the right terminology? Let's see here. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks good, it looks like pudding. Let's give it a try. Pretty good. Tastes like peanut butter pudding. It's really good actually. So, has 
very smooth, and then there's a, a piece of like a cookie on the bottom. You can have a bite of this, Jackson. Here's somebody else ordered the wheel of cheese. So he has some vodka in that ladle, and he's already shaved off the cheese that goes in the bowl of the wheel of cheese. And he's just lighting it on fire now, heating it up. This will mostly burn off all the alcohol, too. Oh, it's getting big. Ooh. Now he's melting down the cheese. Now that he's got it all steamy and melty in there, now he just has to add the pasta, and they're bringing it out right now. Ooh, yeah. Well, he's pouring the cream in now, too. And then he's gonna mix it all together. Make it extra creamy and cheesy. I bet you that's so good. Yeah. Ooh, look at it dripping. All right, our bags are packed up. We're trying to get out the door to get some breakfast because we are still taking Jackson to school today. So we're in a bit of a rush. It was a good stay. It was good. I liked it a lot. Yeah, me too. I wish we could have stayed longer. Yeah. It was nice. I wish I could have gotten to the pool. Yeah, I really I liked it. I want to stay here, uh, stay here, like our house. You want to live here? <laughs> Move it. Oh my. We're here for breakfast at the Garden Gallery. We got cranberry vanilla mimosas available. And then also, is this specific for Veterans Day or is this just a Bloody Mary? Oh, all right. You know it's a good sign when we sit down to Shania Twain. <laughs> so this is actually a breakfast buffet and we'll start out over here. We've got various breakfast pastries. Let's see what we've got over here. This is a fruit and nut crispy. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. This is polenta. That's not polenta. Is it polenta? What's this? Okay, I guess it says it's polenta. It's like chunks of polenta. It's kavasi, kavasa. Corned beef hash. Oh yeah, that's good. It looks delicious. We got sausage gravy to go on your biscuits. I wonder if there's biscuits in here. Yeah, biscuits right there. We also have hard boiled eggs. We got scrambled eggs. We've got breakfast potatoes, like hash browns. We got bacon. The bacon looks really good. We got turkey sausage and pork sausage chorizo hash and it says spicy there's also a waffle station where they will make you fresh waffles and they have two different kinds of mickey waffles they say that they are plain waffles and these are listed as chocolate waffles and there's also an omelet station over here with all the fixings available some fresh fruit over here we got yogurt and various meats and cheeses. And some more fresh whole fruit, like whole bananas and you know apples and oranges. And some sugar and raisins for your oatmeal, maybe. What's in that's grits. This is oatmeal. Pretty good variety of stuff. They've got different breads and a toaster that you can send them through. As well as different butters, jellies, and cream cheese and peanut butter. Oh, bagels. Okay fresh fruit. This is basically the kids section over here. We've got scrambled eggs. You can see it's on a lower countertop for the kids. Scrambled eggs. We've got hash browns, or not hash browns, potato barrels or tater tots. Some French toast sticks. And then churros, little mini churros. Oh, here's this little buddy. Hi, good morning. <laughs> So they do have high chairs, but it was just easier to keep him in his his little stroller chair. But I wanted to show you what I got. So I got a bacon, mushroom, tomato, and spinach with cheese omelet. A little uh, like Danish. Oh, uh, I got some tater tots from the kids' corner. Some melon. This I'm excited about. You did? Three tater tots stuck together. Oh my goodness! It's like a mega tot. I got some polenta. This is the thing I'm most excited about. Turkey bacon. This bacon looks amazing. Like way better than any Disney buffet. And some hash browns. Oh, and some biscuits and sausage gravy. All right, so there you have it. That was our stay at Shades of Green. Really enjoyed it. I had so much fun. 
we met a lot of you guys there at the resort um a lot of you guys said that you stay there every time you come to disney and that you stay there multiple times a year and it's just like a big i don't know it really felt like a big family yeah you know it was really neat the food yeah. was delicious all the food that we had was so so good that breakfast was good everything was super reasonably priced too it was definitely not on par with the rest of disney pricing right which was it was very nice even the price of the rooms the only comparable place that we found was uh like all-star resorts yeah yeah the i mean the pricing was definitely um was really great and then the location was fantastic you're like super close to the parks you're um right next to two different golf courses we had the golf course right outside of our room so that was really beautiful and the pool was so nice had a huge playground a huge splash pad yeah i don't know it was just like oh and we saw all those animals right <laughs> it was just really great we had like a really good time hanging out with deer and turkeys <laughs> yeah and of course we got to catch up with our friend so another a huge thank you to our friend chris for sponsoring our room um and giving us the opportunity to check out shades of green and show yeah. it to you guys thank you yeah and so all in all it was a fantastic stay and with that being said we are off we'll see you all tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price